Here's the project we're going to do today. I am calling this one Midnight Howl. And this is a project that was done using mostly making a scene rubber stamps. And so let's begin. Yeah, I have a quarter sheet of chrome coat glossy cardstock here. This is 12 point CS or 1 CS or CS1, whatever it is, glossy cardstock. And I've put all of my major stamps in a stamping platform. And I'm going to use some Memento London Fog for the moon. And then I'll use Memento Tuxedo Black for everything else. And I'm using a Misty Creative Corner so that I can offset my page. And I'm also going to put a little bit of temporary adhesive on the back of the paper to help keep it in place. Okay, and I'm going to put just a quick mask over the porcupine here. Alright, next I'm going to ink up the path. And then I'm going to use my stamp chamois to remove everything along the sides of the path. Okay, now I'm going to give this a little bit of a chance for the ink to dry before I start coloring it. And we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to use some Copic, uh, Copic markers to color in the trees. All right, I have cut some masks. I'm going to put some temporary adhesive on the back of the masks. Okay, I'll start by inking the sky. I'm going to start with Distress Ink Faded Jeans. And next, Chipped Sapphire. And Black Soot. Okay. 
Okay, next I'm going to take some Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White. And I've put some in a little container here and wetted it down with some water. I will put a quick mask here for the ground. And I will just make some stars. Okay, I put the piece back into my stamping platform and I'm going to re-stamp the moon with some tuxedo black. But I am going to stamp it off first. Okay, I'm going to use some brushed corduroy. Okay, and for the grass, I'm going to start with some bundled sage. Next, we'll go with peeled paint. And forest moss. All right, now I am going to sign and date it. Okay, and then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some forest moss and these, this larger grass. And to help ground these things in the background, I'm going to use my Forest Moss Distress Marker and my Art Impressions Small Grass. And here's the final result, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!